fastest, longest, and tallest roller coaster in Australia. Brand new $60 million. Go for it, buddy. You gotta try this out when you're on the Gold Coast. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fam? This is gonna be a roller coaster run through 20 bucketless things you need to do when you're in the Gold Coast. Hold on tight, remember to keep your hands and feet inside the carriage at all times, and let's go. Going up, up, up to the tallest structural building in Australia, and I just climbed it. After an epic climb to the top of Australia's tallest skyscraper, there's nothing more rewarding than an epic breakfast to go with it, which you can get at the Sky Point Bistro and Bar, which we're having right now. Breakfast with these crazy views right behind me. It's the highest place we've ever had breakfast before, and it is an amazing feeling. Gold Coast has the biggest arcade in Australia, Time Zone Surfers Paradise, with over 200 arcade machines and other awesome fun stuff like bowling, laser tag, bumper cars, and glow golf to add to the fun. You can easily spend a whole day there. There are so many games we have never even seen before. Okay, what? A Twister arcade machine? And a Nerf arcade machine? <laughs> Thumbs up. The vibes here are so chill and great for the whole family. There's a wide variety of street food such as American barbecue, wood fire pizzas, Japanese, Mexican, and so much more. The food is actually really, really good here. Like everything is quality that we've tried so far. I just kind of want to go through every stall and try them all now. The walls are covered up with cool posters and paintings. They also have a live band playing to add to the atmosphere. Such cool vibes. I do recommend coming earlier when the market opens at five o'clock when it's a little bit quieter and you don't have to line up so long for food. But obviously when you come later, there's more people and the atmosphere is just amazing with the band oh, and food. Guys, ultimate combo. Warner Brothers Movie World is home to the fastest, longest, and tallest roller coaster in Australia, DC Rivals Hypercoaster. It is crazy. There are heaps more awesome rides for the whole family to enjoy, and there are so many characters to meet from DC, Scooby-Doo, and Looney Tunes. Make sure to check out the Hollywood Stunt Driver Show 2, the Yogi Bear 4D Experience, and the Street Stars Parade. There is just so much to cover in Warner Brothers Movie World, you need to check out our video on the top right for a more in-depth look. In Australia, things are quite far apart, so a car is highly recommended. Driving is the best way to see a lot of the sights and also to catch the vibes around Gold Coast, from surface paradise all the way to Miami. Budget rental made it so easy for us to get to the good stuff in this sweet and spacious ride. This is Hotel Home of the Arts, a brand new $60 million art gallery in the Gold Coast. Let's go in and check it out. We were completely blown away by Hota and the different exhibits on display. Right here, you can get a sneak peek of all the art pieces that this gallery holds. And apparently they're only showcasing 1% right now. We've been told that the best way to tackle the Hoda Gallery is to start at the very top on the fifth floor. Make sure you grab a coffee at the Exhibitionist Bar and then check out these amazing views over Gold Coast. This outdoor piece behind me looks like an alien base. Andy and I were saying if you guys play StarCraft, it looks like a Protoss base. 
After some authentic flavors from Thailand, Chiang Mai Thai is the place to go on the Gold Coast and it's rated as one of the best in the area. You will find some exotic Chiang Mai dishes as well as some favorites from across Thailand. We found this so delicious, we wanted to head back for more. So not only does it have great Thai food, but it's one of the most unique restaurants to dine in. Just look at the decor and the outside dining area. It really feels like you're in Thailand. What color do you reckon you can hit? Uh, oh yeah, blue one. This is the most advanced golfing experience I have ever seen. It's set up like a driving range, taken to the next level. Well, actually about a hundred levels. So the golf balls have been chipped and you have to play games targeting the colored sections on the open range. The balls come out automatically from a swipe of the club. You can enjoy private booths to hit with your friends or family. Even our boys had an amazing time playing the games. The food, oh my God, absolutely delicious. Check out these yummy bites. This looks so good. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh. Slow going solo, go for it, buddy. <laughs> slides galore here at Wet n Wild. I could not believe how many water slides there were, and they were so much fun. Me, they're constructing the newest section in White and Wild, which will house the tallest water slide tower in Australia. That's going to be massive. You guys have to check it out. Those of you that like some luxury in your life, or even to spoil yourself, the Star Gold Coast is desk for you. Check this out. It's amazing. Oh my god. Buttons. I love pressing buttons. How cool is this? And you can adjust the lighting of the whole room. So high and low for a bit of moodiness. Check out this long sink with two taps. Nespresso machine. This is essential. There's so many sun beds here. Breakfast at the garden, kitchen and bar at the Star looks amazing and the vibes and atmosphere in here, it feels like you're inside a garden. It's the perfect place to start your day. We're having dinner at Kayome, which is located in the Star. This is one of the top rated Japanese restaurants in the Gold Coast. Let's check it out. Okay, we have lamb chops with a miso paste on top. Never think that they can mix Japanese ingredients with lamb. Whoa, the lamb is so tender, it's crazy. And that miso paste actually works. Really, really surprised and it's beautiful. Oh, this looks so good. This tastes amazing, what did they put in this? Tina just asked me what I thought of Kiyomi and I think it's one of the best Japanese restaurants in the Gold Coast. And honestly, it is even better than a lot of places in Melbourne. Don't hate me Melbourne folks, but it is unbelievable. You have to try when you come here. Dreamworld has so many activities combined into one theme park. Of course, there are awesome rides. Some of the standout for us were the Shrek and Kung Fu Panda ones. You can also have unbelievable close-up experiences with dingoes and even hug a koala. Watch the tiger show in Tiger Kingdom. You won't believe how high a tiger can climb. If you're running away from tiger, you better make sure you climb to the top of the tree. This is just a small glimpse of what Dreamworld has to offer. Check out our video on the top right for a closer look. For the ultimate farm experience and hanging out with Sean the Sheep, you need to visit Paradise Country. Paradise Country has great shows including Australian sheep shearing, horse riding, sheep herding and whip skills. The crew are hilarious and make it really fun. 
You can meet Sean the Sheep and his friends. In addition to Paradise Country, there's the farm stay where you can stay in eco safari tents like these ones. Welcome to Paradise Country Farm Stay. You can stay in these eco tents right next to Paradise Country Farm. We've got the family ensuite right here and it is so nice and spacious and it gives you all the safari vibes. What makes this really special is that you can enjoy the extra activities they have during your stay like feeding kangaroos, morning farm activities like milking cows, picking chicken eggs and feeding the animals around the farm. They are really hands-on and so much fun for the kiddos. Milkman's daughter serves up fantastic vegetarian food and coffee constructs like the coconut caramel coffee shot, which was really yummy. The lemon ricotta pancakes had so many ingredients to deliver a unique and wonderful sweet dish. The vibes inside are also so laid back where you can enjoy dining inside a mini cave. The iconic infinity. Prepare to be taken to a different dimension in an experience that plays with your senses. The journey is really mind-blowing and fun. In one room, you'll think you're in a particle cluster, then stars in space, and then onto a psychedelic trip. The one we enjoyed the most would be the completely dark room when you're relying on touch to navigate, but the room is completely soft, as well as the ground. <sighs> we made it, guys. That was exhilarating inside, like so many like wall to your senses. You gotta try this out when you're on the Gold Coast. It is such a unique and cool experience. Imagine staying on a cruise ship on land that you can get off anytime. Let me introduce you to Paradise Resort. There's an unbelievable amount of things for the whole family in one location from all your meals in the day sorted, kids clubs that pretty much run the whole day, water parks, constant fun daily activities and rooms for all family sizes. Check out our video of Paradise Resort up on the top right corner. We'll show you why it's been voted the best family resort in Australia. This spectacular show is set up like nothing you've ever seen. You're actually dining around the centre stage and I'm talking about a yummy three-course meal. The show is all about the Australian outback from its origins, the lands and the ups and downs of Australian outback life. There are amazing light effects, wonderful actors and animals to add to the experience. For a great lookout of the coast and skyline, check out the North Burley Lookout. You can see all the way to Surface Paradise. The viewpoint is in a great position and really easy to get to. Ripley's, believe it or not, this is a must-see in the center of Surfers Paradise. It's newly refurbished, so we're gonna go inside and take a look at what they have done and what's new. Let's go. Would you like to help me out? Uh, see you later. I'm Bye. <laughs> you can't leave me Over here. SeaWorld Theme Park has a great combination of rides and attractions for all to enjoy. Our favourites were the Storm Roller Coaster ride. This ride takes you through a storm wreck, and at the end, you get super wet. <laughs> Next would have to be touching the stingrays in Ray Reef. There are lots of amazing shows like Affinity Dolphin, Paw Patrol, Thunder Lake Stunt Show and Seal Guardians. After an action packed day, it's so good to head over to the resort hotel which is right next door to SeaWorld to relax and further enjoy amazing facilities. Check out all the best highlights and what to expect in SeaWorld and the resort on the top right. You can't miss out on the iconic surfers paradise in the Gold Coast. The scenic beach is an amazing setting during sunset. There are heaps of restaurants, shops and different types of entertainment to enjoy. Take your pick and have a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and it's helped you plan your next Gold Coast trip. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you in more Gold Coast guides. Peace out. <laughs>